Hi everybody, it's Amanda and I'm coming to you with a mess on my table. Holy cow. Okay, I'm coming to you with the 30 inks 30 days recap. So I thought we'd go through our splats and I thought we'd go through the coloring cards. I'm missing like five of my cards, so I don't have all of them. I don't know where they are. Um, and then we do a quick flip through of all of our little books, including my Hobonichi for those of you who don't follow me on Instagram. And yeah, we call it a day. Kind of give some of my thoughts, actually. I wrote a couple notes in this notebook here. Let me see if I can find them. I've been using this, I've been using the um, the notebook that we got from the Ink Flight. I've been using it, um, this is the, uh, what is it, the Nebula Casual Note. Um, I've been using it for like work notes and stuff just because it's like been around me. Um, but I also thought I wrote down but yeah, some notes about the 30 inks 30 days um, for recap purposes. So, I'm just going to move my microphone a little bit. Um, yeah, so we have coloring cards. We have ink splats. I have all the books. I guess I'll flip through the books real fast. I had to redo one ink splat because um, it went missing. I don't know where it went. Um, it was on a table with some stuff and might have accidentally got thrown away. But um, yeah, so I only had to do, I had to redo one ink splat. So, um, we'll go through and look at our Maramon um, little, this is the uh, Maramon one, Nemesine 185. It's, I think they call it a sketchbook. I've taken the sticker off. Um, and I had April in here and now we have June and then for September I'll start a brand new one because I'll have, a, I only have a couple pages left in here. So I'll use these for scrap notes and things like that. So anyway, we started off with a an ink from our friend Wen, and it is the oh I meant to go look up how to say this, Ying Ying Shui Shu. I think that's how you say it. I think the X is like a sh sound. Um, yeah, which is this pretty dual shady ink. It's really gorgeous. Um, it's got some pink and some green, turns into like a like a little tan color. It's really pretty, and I enjoyed using it. Um, then we had uh, Birmingham Pen Company Golden Gazette. Um, this ink is also very pretty. Um, it has some really nice shading, and I like the orangey bits in it. Um, it's a yellow that's like interesting, in my personal opinion. Um, then we had Diamine Bloody Absinthe, which is one of the German exclusives. And a lot of you said that you got, I don't know if you got this one, but a lot of you went looking for some of the other ones that are later in the month. So um, it seems like a lot of you um, really enjoyed these as well. Was it a German exclusive or a UK exclusive? I can't remember. I feel like it was available at one shop and the shop no longer has it. So maybe it wasn't this one that everybody went to get. I think it was the later ones. But this is from um, Tracy. Um, then we had uh, Robert Oster Viola, which is really a gorgeous color. You're shocked that I like this one. Um, really interesting shading. I liked using it in the 1.5 stub. I'm still getting used to the 1.5 stub, but it was a pleasure to work with. Then we have Birmingham uh, Pen Company Tesla Coil, which is one of their newer sheening inks. I think it's the Rich series is what they call it. Um, but I actually have the pen that this is in. I still have ink in it, so I'm just kind of using it up. Um, even though it's the teeny tiny Caveco uh, converter and the and a double, I think it's a double, yeah, double broad nib. Um, I still have ink in it, so I'm just kind of running through my pens. Um, I might clean some out this weekend and do a currently inked next month or next not next month next week um, with um, some new pens. Um, then we had Birmingham. Uh, Pen Company Fountain Turquoise, which was a, oh, this was a sample from Pen from Laura, and this was a um, sample from Casey. Um, then we had Sailor Ink Studio 735, which was in my other Kaveco um, that I got this month, and that was from Pen from Carolyn, a lovely combo. I think I pretty much wrote this one dry, like that day. Um, I used it a lot. I had a lot of writing to do, I guess. Um, the next day, oh, I didn't even write. Day eight, we had Van Diemen's Pixie Parasols, which is a sample from a pen from Melissa. And then we had this. Okay, this is like the dark horse. I mean, it's a, it's a bright horse, but it's a dark horse because I still have this ink in this pen. I intend to use it. It's one of like the two samples that we finished all month. I mean, I think there's like a drop left in it, but um, yeah, like I, I freaking loved this combo. I'm really excited to use this whenever I want to, like, 
I'm not getting a bottle of this ink because I don't need a neon red ink bottle, but um, I, yeah, it was probably one of my favorites of the month. Um, in fact, I think it is on my list of favorites of the month. This was also a sample from Casey. And then we have Colorverse Walk the Dog, which is this pretty green. Another sample from Casey. I had this in my Zoom nib. Um, really lovely, has nice shading, really pretty color. It's one of those like murky greens that I am fond of. Um, Diamine Woodland. Okay, so my sample vial said Woodland Evergreen, which is why I went back and put the Ever in here, but the actual ink color is Diamine Woodland Green, not Woodland Evergreen. Um, and this is a, a sample from my pen bestie, Creepy Nibs. Um, it was one of my birthday samples. And um, yeah, it was a really lovely green to work with. It's really bright and pretty, and I liked it a lot. Then we had um, Lavender Raven Black, which was a, another um, fun ink. It's a black, but it's a really nice black ink. Um, and I really loved using it, even though, you know, it's not like a flashy color. It's just, it's just black. But like I said, it's a really nice one. Then we had um, this one, Fanyan Tan. Oh, shoot. I forgot how to say the Q. I need to look these up and like write them phonetically so I know how to say them later if I ever refer back to this. But it's another one of these um, uh, dual shading inks. There's green, there's brown. It's really pretty. Um, I used it in my Franklin Kristoff Music Nib. I think I actually wrote this pen dry as well um, just, by, just because it was a music nib. Um, but yeah, it's really... It was a really fun ink. Um, next up we have uh, Gerbon Lee Dete, which is a favorite among many of you. And a lot of you also didn't try, haven't tried this ink. So I'm glad that I was able to like help inspire people to want to try this ink. Um, I think I think there were a few people that said they were gonna get a sample of it. So yeah, it was a really nice brown, um, has really nice shading, which is a, a, um, an attribute that I really like a lot in my inks. It gives it a little interest without being too terrible. Um, then we had a Gerbon Rouge, um, which is a scented ink. And I actually still have a little bit of it in this pen. And I just, I loved this red. Like, this was a month, There's this month had a lot of greens in it. But the reds are the inks that really stood out to me. I, it was a really nice, like, red month. Um, but yeah, I, I loved this. And I can't wait to, like, actually finish the fill on this. Um... Then we have Mont Blanc uh, Party and Sons, which is um, an ink that a lot of you also went kind of crazy for. Um, people were talking about maybe getting some. I know it's really expensive, so I don't know if anybody bit that bullet, but um, yeah, it's a really nice orangey brown. And uh, yeah. Um, and it doesn't still smell. I mean, it's been how many days? Well, I haven't, I didn't write the date on a bunch of these. 14, 15, 16. Okay, so it's been like two weeks. Um, but or a little over two weeks, so yeah. The scent does not stick around. Oh, let's look at the rose. Does that one still smell? No, that one doesn't smell either. So it will fade. The scent will fade while it's on the pen. Then we have another sh uh, Sheeny Blue. This is Colorverse Nassau Blue. It's a Drum Gold's exclusive. This was a, oh, this was a sample from uh, Pen Friend Sandy. And this is a sample from pen friend uh, Sarah, Sarah Katie. And yeah, a beautiful, I think I have this still in the pen as well. I don't see it up here on my desk, but I moved a bunch of stuff to a drawer. So um, I think I had, I think I don't think I wrote this one dry yet either. So yeah, so no, another lovely shady blue is really nice. Uh, then we have Lennon Toolbar Sun Moon Lake Black Tea. I loved this, and I used it in a pilot uh, vanishing point, and I just, I love this ink. I love this ink. I'm glad that I have a very generous sample, and we'll get to use this some more. Um, I don't know what pen I'll put it in next, but I am excited to have it in another pen. I might. I haven't decided if I'll get a bottle of this. I probably won't, but um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy the sample. Maybe I'll see how I feel after the sample is gone. Uh, then we have a Colorverse Purple Cosmo, dr another Drum Goals exclusive, and a lot of you also really love this. I love this one too, I'm not going to lie. It's, it was a beautiful ink, and I have, oh, I didn't write what pen I had it in. Oh, I had it in this one. And I still have ink in this pen, so I will be uh, using, I'll be finishing that up as well. Um, yeah. <coughs> 
I don't think this is one that's going to get cleaned out. I have a few pens that I'm probably going to end up cleaning out, either because the ink is low or just because I want to move on to other things um, and ink up other pens, but yeah, we'll see. Then we had um, Wancher Ebene. Now, Wancher inks, I found out because a lot of, a lot of you were asking about them. Um, apparently they don't make their inks anymore. And I know like a year or so ago when I received the samples from our anonymous pen friend. Oh, did I say this um, ink sample? Oh, hold on. This ink sample was from pen friend uh, Tasha. And then this ink sample was from pen friend Sarah Katie. Um, this ink, I looked on their website, they make pens and they make really nice pens but apparently they don't make the inks anymore. At least they don't sell them in bottled form. I know they um, have cartridges available on their website, but I think it's just standard blue and black cartridges. I don't think they do the ink colors anymore, unless it's just a shortage of supply and they haven't restocked it. But um, yeah, when I click the link that was on their website, it just takes me to their pens. So um, yeah, so I don't know if they're done making inks or if this was a special limited edition and I was just lucky to get samples. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, this was a really nice combo and um, I really love this ink color. Then we have a Linen Toolbar Dongji, um, which is another favorite that I have used this month. Um, I really, 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 I did a lot of writing in this day and I really enjoyed every bit of it. Again, I love the shading. It's a paler ink, so I think some of you might think it's a little too light, but I have seen the ways of the paler inks and I really do enjoy some of them. Dynamite Smoke on the Water. Now this is the one. This is the one that kind of like started the, I think a lot of people bought this ink. And so congratulations to you if you did. I hope that you love it when you get it. Um, yeah, it was a lovely, I didn't get to use this ink as much as I wanted to on, on day 22. Um, I didn't do a whole lot of writing that day, but um, yeah, I have, I have it in the pen still and that is one that I will um, be using. Uh, next up, we have Sailor Shikiori Chushu. Uh, oh, this was from Tracy. And then this is from Penfriend Carol. And I actually use this one a whole lot. And I put it, I ended up putting it in another pen. I don't know if I put it in my Hobonichi or not. I didn't, but I ended up, oh, I ended up putting it in my, um, my Opus 88 and then using that also at work. So, um, yeah, it was, it was really nice. I enjoyed every bit of it. And I used, it was a day that I needed to take lots of notes. So I used like the broad nib and the Opus 88 as like headers and things I wanted to highlight. And then I used the uh, Kakuno as like my normal writing pen. And it was, it was an excellent combination. I am a huge fan of the ink. Um, then we had Robert Oster Sterling Silver. I also loved using this ink and I loved using it do I have it sitting here? I don't. I thought I did. I don't. Oh yeah, I used it in my Lamy Dark Lilac Safar um, Safari where I put an oblique. It is an oblique broad. I went back and looked at my receipts. It was a Goulet um, bottom shelf purchase when they first got these nibs in. Some of them weren't marked right or weren't marked at all, and I, you know, got a few of them at a discount. Um, um, but yeah, I really enjoyed using this. It was, like I said, it was an oblique broad. I'm gonna fix that right here. And yeah, this was, this was a fun combination. Um, next up we have Noodler's Blue Nose Bear. A lot of you were like, it looks green to me. Now it is like a blue green. It kind of reminds me of like pictures you see. The, what, the, I don't, I haven't seen the label of it, but the, what it evokes in my mind is like, when you see pictures of polar bears with like glaciers behind them and it's kind of like that sort of blue um that's kind of what it evokes for me so i really enjoyed it probably would have fit better in my mint in my mint blue eco tea but that already has an ink in it so um yeah i enjoyed it in the extra fine nib um, a lot of you have said that this is kind of one that bleeds and spreads and so um you kind of had troubles with it and we're going to try it in extra fines like i did and i really haven't had any problems with it it does feather and bleed on certain papers like in that nebula note i used it for some stuff and it does kind of feather it's kind of gross but um but yeah, it was a nice ink. I do want to do some like water test stuff on this maybe and see if like the black sticks behind or something, but, or maybe chromatography or something. So we might be seeing some of these more in the future. 
Next up we have Wantri Imari, which was this beautiful blue. This felt dry in my pen, and I have had inks, oops, tape. Um, I still have it in this pen because it's such a nice blue that I don't really want to get rid of it, but it did seem sort of dry in this pen, and I have had shimmer inks in this pen. Why have I got like cat hair on it or something or fiber, a fiber of some sort? What is happening? Okay. Um, yeah, like this ink, this pen has like housed shimmer inks forever. So I don't know if it's the ink or if the pen, like the tines need to be like flossed or something. I'm not sure, but it seemed dry in this pen to me. Um, again, I'm not sure if you can get the bottles of ink because, um, because yeah, I don't, it doesn't seem like they're selling them on their website anymore. Diamond Communication Breakdown. This is probably one of my favorite combos of the whole month. Um, I put it in my Mommy Studio LX All Black and I just really loved this ink. It reminds me a lot of Fire Coral and I don't remember if I did it in a video, but somebody asked about it and um, I think I did it in the video actually. I um, asked about comparing it and maybe it was the beginning of this video. <clears throat> um, it was really a really close comparison to um, Van Diemen's Fire Coral, or it's closer anyway to Fire Coral than it is to the other one they wanted to see. But yeah, I really love this, and I think I think my pen still has ink in it too. And if it does, this is one that I'm keeping. Monteverde Rose Noir in my Sailor Pro Gear Mini. Um, again, a lovely combination. Somebody commented that mine looked darker than theirs, and it's possible. Um, I could, I've had the sample a really long time, so there could have been some evaporation, which makes it a little darker. But yeah, it's a really lovely combo. It's a like a pinky sort of purple. I would say it leads more purple. I would classify it more as a purple, but it does have like that sort of pink tone in it. Um, yeah, again, I think it looks like dried rose petals. And I enjoy using it. Next up we have uh, Birmingham Pen Company Fred Rogers Cardigan Red. Thus, ink didn't really like this paper, but I thoroughly enjoyed using it when I was able to um, do some writing and stuff, and it's an excellent combination. Okay, sorry, I got interrupted with the phone call. So anyway, so we have Fred Rogers Cardigan Red. Um, this didn't like this particular paper so much, um, although it looks nice now that it's dried, but um, writing on it wasn't so great. But yeah, this is a really lovely combo, and I loved using it. This was from Pen Friend Nib Nerd. This was from Ms. Turtle. This was another one from Tracy. I think I've used almost all of the her German exclusive samples that she sent me. This was from Anonymous. This was um, one of Tracy's uh, birthday samples. Uh, that was from Roxy. That was from Carolyn. Okay, I think I got everybody. Then we have Van Diemen's, the last day of the month, Van Diemen's Tazzy Seasons Winter um, Black Truffle. Um, this is super, super um, sloppy, but I loved it. It's a favorite combo of mine, and I, yeah, told you all about it. So, there you go. Um, so let's go ahead and flip through our Hobonichi real fast. All right, I keep getting inter interrupted, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at my Hobonichi. So before we look at the whole month, even though you just saw a spoiler of it, we'll go through the uh, inks again. So here's what it looks like on Tomoe Airbrook paper. <clears throat> and the Claire Fontaine. So we'll just kind of like compare them. And that. It looks a little more vibrant on here, but also it has the page behind it ghosting through, so. Oh yeah, this is the this is the spread where I did the pages backwards. So we have that. Let me have that. And then that. I kind of don't like how it looks on this better. I feel like the new Tomoe River paper, and I don't know if this is new Tomoe River paper or not. <coughs> Excuse me. Kind of like clouds things a little bit. But also this Claire Fontaine is just like super bright white paper, so. Pretty. Again, pretty. 
And all these Hobonichi pages can be found on my Instagram if you feel like looking at them a little more closely. I really like how this looks on that paper. And the rose. Party and scents. And our Nassau blue. I love how I used my automatic pen on this one to just like make some swabs. And I love how that turned out. I like the um, black splotches where the ink pooled a little bit. There we go. There we go. I love the sheening on the Tomoe River paper. But I like how the color of the ink looks better on this one. And this one also got some good sheening. I did another, this is with my um, automatic pen. I just kind of like went around in a square. Um, very nice. And then I did the same sort of thing with um, this one. And this one. I like how this one turned out. And then this is probably my favorite spread in the whole thing. As much as I love the one with Dig It, Dig It was my favorite up until this one. I just love the way these two look together. But we have that. And then we have that. And the sheening really pops on this one where you have the ink pulled. Okay, we have some more of that. It kind of mixed with some of the red in here, so it's not as clean as it could look. And then that. I love the red on this paper better. It looks like it like muted it out here. And then we have my beloved black truffle, which again is like a green, I'm sorry, like a grayish brown color. It's really pretty and I enjoy it a lot. So yeah, cool. So we'll go ahead and flip through our splats real fast. I'm sorry, I have no idea how long this video is going to be because I kept getting interrupted, but I know everybody wants to see the splats again. So we'll um, show them, I'll show them a little, I'll show them up close. There were a couple of videos where I like had them like this, so you couldn't really see them. So I just really want to make sure that I give them their proper glory because everybody loves a good splat. Got that nice sheen going on there. Day four. I had to redo this one. I said that earlier, but I had to redo this one because the original one went missing. I hope it shows up because it looked really cool. This one also had some really cool sheen. Again with the really nice shading here. These spots were not so great, but um, the color, the ink more than, like the writing experience more than made up for it. These spots look really cool. This black also has some sheen on it a little bit, so that's kind of cool. Some shiny, shiny black sheen. I really enjoyed this. There we go. Again, this is another one that I feel like the Tomoe River muted a little bit, which normally, I don't know what that's about. Mont Blanc Pretty and Sons. Another, some more sheeny goodness with that Nassau blue. Again, I love this. The, these splats didn't show up with as much black on it as the, um, as the Hobonichi page did, but love it. Some, a little more sheeny goodness on that. Not as much as the other one, but a gorgeous color. I think a lot of you, I think I said this earlier, but a lot of you were really excited about this one. 
after a bean. I love all the different colors in this one. It like it's complex and it's really pretty. A little bit of sheen, smoke on the water. Get that shimmer in there. Got some of that sheen that we saw in the Hobonichi paper. Right there. Lovely. This with the black splats. I've been told that the black stays behind and the blue washes away, so that's why I wanted to do some water test stuff with it, but not today. I'll have to do some ink experiment videos, but here's that pretty blue. More sheen. Monteverdi Rose Noir. Or Fred Rogers. This is one a lot of you wish they'd bring back, even just for the name alone. <laughs> and then our black truffle, which again is a little shiny, but lovely. I just love it. It looks more black on this paper here, but it is it is more of a like a brown gray, whatever. But yeah. So there's that. Um, I feel like was there something else that I want. <laughs> was just saying that I wanted to do something else, but I think, oh, I did. I had some notes. I um, wrote some notes down. So I had, um, we had 14 pen fronds. We had three samples from Wen, four from Casey, four from uh, Tracy, three from Roxy, one from Laura, one from, uh, two from Carolyn, one from Melissa, two from Creepy Nibs, three from Anonymous, three from Sarah Katie, one each from Sandy, Tasha, Miss Turtle, and Nib Nerd. And then, um, yeah, um, Casey was officially banned. Roxy and Wen were officially banned. However, um, Tracy was unofficially banned. And now that I've made this count, Anonymous and Sarah Katie also should have been banned. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but yeah, um, my favorites this month were Sailor, in no particular order, were uh, Sailor 735, Kala Diggit, Lovinger Raven Black, Lennon Toolbar, Sun Moon Lake Black Tea, Lennon Toolbar Dongji, Sailor Chushu, Diamine Communication Breakdown. Um, if I were going to make a purchase, I would probably purchase Communication Breakdown. However, I have a lot of red inks and I don't use red a whole lot, so I feel kind of silly getting another one, so... Um, yeah, I probably won't get it, but I will enjoy the sample that I've received from uh, Tracy. So thank you all so much for all the inks that you've shared with me. Um, as you saw earlier the other day, I have a bunch more inks to add to the pile for next year. I mean, obviously I'll try to use some of them before then, but um, yeah, it's awesome. I'm very excited. So thank you so much for making Pen Friend Appreciation Month and uh, my June 30 inks 30 days such a lovely, wonderful experience. You are all beautiful human beings, and I love every single one of you. And I look forward to doing 30 inks 30 days again in September. I haven't decided if I'll do a theme or if I'll just kind of do whatever I feel like. I'm leaning towards doing whatever I feel like, although, like I said in a previous video, I had a couple themes that I was, like, rolling around, but I also just kind of want to... I just kind of want to do what I feel like. So maybe to make it challenging, I will stick to one pen. But sticking to one pen is going to be a, like, a, like, a, like, can I pick one pen and use it all month? I have done it before. I don't like doing it. I, after I did that, I threw the pen in a drawer for six months and didn't look at it. So, um... Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what we'll do there. Uh, but I do have some videos coming, um... As I've mentioned, I have a couple to film still, and yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, but I will see you again very soon in a future video, and yeah, I will talk to you soon. Thank you again for making 30 Inks so much fun. Um, yeah, the fact that you all love watching a video every day as much as I love doing this challenge and having a video ready every day. Um, as much as I do like it's it's awesome and I'm glad that it's so well received and um yeah like I said I will see you again in September um don't know what September is gonna look like but yeah that's how it is anyway thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you again very soon take care love you bye oh and if you're in the states I hope you have a wonderful fourth of July weekend um happy Canada day yesterday to any Canadian viewers and uh yeah 
I will see you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.